have a 1950 Ford, and well, she's been setting for about 40 years or so, and well, we're gonna get her running and driving today. As you can see, she's in a little bit better shape than the ones we normally get. She does have the good old hydraulic dump bed back here with a steel bed over a wood bed. She's pretty sturdy and heavy. Big old hydraulic cylinder underneath there, and I guess this truck's considered a two-ton because it is a F6, but on the interior here, we're missing a side glass here. It fell out earlier when I opened the door. The clutch seems to work because I took it out of gear when we was uh, pulling it on the trailer. It was bound up in gear and we got it out of gear. She shows 35,000 miles, but I'm sure that's rolled over because the engine has been rebuilt in this thing. There is a tag on the engine, but she has been sitting since about the 80s. We got a pile of spare parts in her. There's no rat nest package in this, which is surprising. I think it's because a bunch of cats lived in it, but we got a distributor and stuff. Normally, this is a bad sign. When I first seen all this in here, when I first went to get the truck, I thought that was a bad sign because normally when there's 500 parts in the seat, it's not a good sign. But the engine is complete, and she is a flathead V8, and she is locked up solid. So we're going to spray her with some PB Blaster here in a minute, and maybe a few other things to get her loosened up, but she's all there. The carburetor's on there, air cleaner's on there. Let's try to find the oil stick here. I think these are some sort of aftermarket heads. I don't know what that says. Cannot read that. I can see it through the camera though. Oh, that don't sound good. Oh, no, she's got oil in her. If I can fight the dipstick out of there. Not the prettiest looking oil, but there's oil in her. And, well, she's a little over full. And she smells like old oil. That's a good sign. We'll just leave that there for now. But as you can see, she's, well, if you hold the fan belt, she don't turn. We are more than likely going to get this and run and make sure the block's good. And this will probably end up being put in our 40 model Ford pickup we're building because we have went through like four different motors and they all have cracked blocks. So before we even mess with this thing, we're going to fill it with water, Well, get it loose and turn it over, fill it with water, start it, get it running, let it get warm and make sure there's no cracks in it. But well, we're going to go ahead, pull these spark plugs out and spray it with some PB Blaster and let her set for a few days. Can of PB Blaster and a wrench and a socket, but uh, these plugs are already loose. I already undid that one by hand a second ago. And uh, as you can see, that one's loose. We uh, blew out around them with a leaf blower and there's still some stuff around them. Even shop vacuuming and leaf blowing, you can't get all that stuff from around them. But, well, we're gonna go ahead and pop these four off on this side and hopefully the other ones are loose and spray her down with some PB Blaster and hope for the best. There's not, there's a little bit of rust on this one you can see. Well, the camera will focus right there. But rest of them look fairly new. I mean, not even any oil on them or carbon, I mean. So she probably wasn't burning any oil when she was parked. But always use a generous amount of this stuff. You never can use too much. Oh, maybe you can. Worst part about these flatheads is the valves get stuck. And it's really hard to get right on top of the, well, you can't get on top of the piston through the uh, spark plug holes, which stinks. But Spray that down too, just to make sure it's gonna maybe work when we get to needing it. better on this side than the uh, passenger side. A little bit of rust on that one. 
Makes my job easy when they're loose, though. A lot of bit of red rust on the edge of that one. None of them are too terrible, though. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the rest of these full and get back About to you. About a day and she's still stuck pretty solid. So this is, uh, if you look at the lines here, this is acetone, uh, automatic transmission fluid, some PB blaster, and we're gonna dump this down in there. You shake this stuff up and it looks like that. It, I mean, it's a neat neon pink color it makes with the acetone and PB blaster. This stuff works pretty good. The PB blaster alone works, but, uh, we really want the best results out yeah, of this. Got us a little uh, sauce bottle because that makes life a lot easier. And we'll just give each of these a little bit. Make sure we got enough to go around. And We'll go do the other side now. And we'll give her a few more days and well, we should get her work. The old truck set for a couple of days. Uh, we went ahead, we dropped a battery in there and we put a terminal on this one. So we already know the starter, well the starter button on the inside we looked and I think this is the wire for the solenoid. If you go inside, you can see that they used this horn button here at one point for the starter and this button uh has long been disconnected so i'm gonna say that wire just jumps it and they started it from outside so we're gonna see if she'll bump over with that starter and get this engine whirling over should be able to well maybe not getting connection i'm sure I'm gonna say the solenoid's bad. We do have a pair of vice grips, especially for this. So, woo. Oh Lord. She whirls. <laughs> Pretty good actually. Seems to have pretty good compression too. You can see it had some uh, rust down in there. That uh, stuff there is the rust coming out of it. But we now have her whirling over. Uh, we're gonna let her spin for a little while longer and uh, get the uh, rest of that PB blaster and stuff out of there. Throw a new set of plugs in her, clean the points, and we should have her running here in a minute. Oh, the motor whirls over real good. Uh, we got these spark plugs and. They come in these little, uh, they're individually packed. We've had these for like a year for the old 40 model Ford pickup because we didn't ever find a good motor for it. So we're gonna throw them in here. And hopefully these are the right ones. They seem to be. They in fact do fit, so the parts store did sell me the right ones. I'm gonna go ahead and open all these up, get back with you, and we'll throw them in here, clean some points, and we should have this old girl running Looks here. Looks like these plugs are gonna work. It took forever to get them out of them packages, but. This old girl whirls over pretty good, so. Hopefully she ain't got no factory defects. And by that, I mean I hope she don't knock.
I think this one was just parked because they quit using it, but I always like to say everything was parked for a reason. Luckily, the old plug wires are kind of petrified into place, so you can see someone put these uh, clothespins on them to keep them from touching them, touching each other, it looks like. Keep them from cross arcing or arcing out to each other. This side ain't as complete, it don't look like. Uh, well, maybe it is. There's one of them. Where's number? There's the back one. We're short too, it looks like. Are they over here? All of them are in the distributor, so here's one of them. And here's the last one. I think he was supposed to go on first, but be okay. We had to undo that clip. Well, that looks brand making new down in there. Even, the, well, you can tell this is the original one, but everything down in there looks brand new. I'm gonna say this was an aftermarket distributor. That's probably the one in the seat was just a spare to this one. Well, the original one, they put a new distributor in it years ago. The points are pretty corroded, and I'm sure the cool's no good, so get some sandpaper after them and hook the cool up, and I bet she'll fire on the first whirl or two. are clean so that bad boy needs to go it did crack there so i'm gonna say this is the uh, original six volt cool off of this truck but we have the good old msd cool to throw on here and it should just sit right down in there on this side it goes to the distributor and well if i can get it hooked up here we already have a wire for the battery to hook to Give it the positive volts and make sure we got these points clean. Whew. Nothing. There we go. Seems like we're getting sparkage there. Made in the USA. That's how you know it's the original one. Slap that back on there. And... We do have a few uh, spark plug wires we got to reattach. They're kind of petrified, so it makes it, they fall off when you, uh, well, only one of them fell off. I guess the other one went back on when we uh, put the cap on. But them being petrified kind of makes it uh, hard to take the well, cap off. We're at the point where we need to take this old breather cap off of here. That came off easier than I thought it would. That carburetor down in there looks clean. So this is just two stroke gas because, well, that's all we got right now. And I didn't want to drive all the way down there to the gas station because we got a truck and trailer on. But we'll give her a little taste and... We should have this old girl running here in a second or two. There we go. Got to take our key apart here and so she'll reach the cylinder wood on both sides. Cook the cool up and let's roll this old girl over. If 
ice grips are getting a little hot. We melted the end of them. She's a trying. Give her a little bit of throttle here and whirl her back around. <laughs> For a second we had her. She ain't liking this two stroke. We'll have to go pick up some more. And we do have a bunch of nasty stuff down in there from uh, getting her loose, but we'll try to keep her running here for a second or two. Come on, old girl. Boy, them flatheads sound so good. Listen to that thing. Oh, she's got a jaw sleep, that's why. Boy, it sounds good. There we go. Nope. I was giving her the juice. Back, we got a little smoke, but she ain't smoking too bad. Not sure where the exhaust comes out at, but nothing too bad for all the gunk we put down in there to get her running. Well, at least turning over. We're gonna do a little bit more work to her. We're gonna put some water down in her and we're gonna hook up us a fuel system, get her island for a little bit longer and uh, see if we can take her for a spin around the yard. Doggone it, she won't. <laughs>
we got her driving. She drives pretty good around the yard. I'll let you guys decide if you pull the motor out of this thing or not. I really do need the engine out of it, but it's a nice truck. And I think all the brake system would be good if we put one brake line on it. But we really do need the old Mercury engine for the pickup. Yeah, she's starting to get hot. But she does seem to be circulating the water finally. But thank you guys for watching. We got her running. We got her yard driving. She was sitting for 40 years. The only thing about putting it on the road is there is like no clutch left in this truck. So we would have to pull the transmission no matter what. So probably better off pulling the engine out of it. But clutch is there. The bed works really good for sitting that long. Engine runs like brand new. The carburetor even works, which is surprising. The cooling system does need some help. It seems, well, no, this side's flowing. So it needs a few things, but thank you guys for watching. We got a really cool one coming up in two weeks. That old uh, ice truck. We got a GMC. We got a Mack truck. We got a few more. So we're going to get back to doing the weekly wheel that runs finally. Thank you guys for sticking with me.